because that fucking motherfucker got t-shirts out there like, you know what I mean? Like he's Kevin Hart or some shit. But you know what? He is the Kevin Hart of Maricopa, all right? So especially since a lot of y'all came in just to see the little motherfucker. I can say little motherfucker because I'm taller than him. You know what I mean? He ain't kicking my ass tonight, that's for sure. But DT, good friend of mine, brought me out. I mean, like I said, very funny comedian. He started this show, his one year anniversary, okay? And like I said, I was honored and all the other comedians are honored to be here. But like I said, very, very funny little man because he takes care of business. He's, I mean, he's a baby daddy. He, you know I mean, he takes care of his fucking daughter. He takes, he's here working all the time and shit like he's an Indian. You know what I mean? <laughs> You think his name is fucking DT Chin, right? Right? Yeah. Every time you come here, fucking DT is here working. Holy shit! But you know what? Tonight is about him because this, otherwise we wouldn't come out here and have this laughs. And he put this show. He works hard for this shit. So let's go. I, my honor, my pleasure. Now we're gonna bring him up. You gotta bring him up like he's Kevin Hart. Remember, he has a little bit of an ego. All right. When you selling T-shirts in the fucking lobby, you got an ego. You know what I mean? You got it. And, and all the shit that this says on his shirt is fucking DT. I'm like, oh shit, that's DT. I wear that motherfucking Phoenix, I'm getting my ass kicked. You know what I mean? Oh shit, that motherfucking DT owes me money. You know what I mean? You know DT? Anyway, y'all ready for some funny laughter and comedian right now? Come to the stage, the guy who made this all happen. Put your hands together for Mr. DT. actual letter that someone wrote and sent to this building. I'm going to share it with you tonight. <laughs> Dear DT, me and my husband have been to several of your comedy shows and we love and enjoy stand-up comedy. We think it's great, great that you brought your program to Maricopa. With that being said, we have a couple of suggestions for you. <laughs> First, we think you should get a stage name. Perhaps if you picked a stage name or chose your real name, people would be able to identify you. Two letters just doesn't make sense to us. <laughs> Second, we strongly believe that if you did not use the words fuck, dick, bitch, pussy, shit, in your set, that it would make for a much better show. With that being said, we will be attending your next comedy show. We hope that you've taken this letter into consideration and made the appropriate changes. I'm not lying, this shit was sent here. Signed, Sincerely X. First of all, X. I hope you realize how stupid you sound now that I've read this out loud. Second, DT is my fucking stage name. It stands for David Trujillo, just in case you can't fucking read. Yeah. What do you think, I just woke up one day and decided to put two letters together and come out on stage to it? If you thought that, you're a special kind of stupid. And lastly, X, fuck that shit. Don't be a pussy and bitch about my jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know, you've been to several of my comedy shows and you have not found this out yet, so I'm gonna let you know, I'm a dick. <laughs> and I don't give a shit. <laughs> but I have taken your letter into consideration. Yeah. And this is the appropriate changes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish you would stand up right now and try to leave my grandma a fucking kick your ass. <laughs> you think I'm lying? My grandma's in here right now. She'll fuck you up. I stand up. I dare you. <laughs> and you got a husband. My grandpa's here too. <laughs> Earlier this evening, when I get into the building, a gentleman approaches me. He offers me some cocaine. 
so I accept his challenge. <laughs> I follow this kind gentleman to his vehicle. We get inside the car. He breaks out a CD case. Don't fucking spill that and break that shit. <laughs> Hey, there's hard work for people here that gotta clean that shit up. Woo. So we get to the guy's car, we get inside, he breaks out a CD case, he starts chopping up lines of cocaine. Everything's good until I notice out of the corner of my eye that he's breaking up lines of cocaine with a food stamp card. <laughs> that right there killed any and all desire I had to do any cocaine. Like, how bad does your life have to be that you're breaking up cocaine with a food stamp card? Look, player, it's just not baller. It's not. So I did what any respectable adult would do. I offered to buy his food stamp card. You see, because the only thing on the mind of a stoner is food to eat. And that's what I am, you know what I mean? I get high and I eat fucking tacos, that's my shit. <laughs> like, it's that simple, you know what I mean? I eat fucking tacos and I get high, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's my shit. And me, my love for weed and tacos fucks up a lot of shit for me, you know what I mean? It kills a lot of my dreams, you know what I mean? Like, I'll never in my life be able to be ripped and buff. <laughs> because I love weed and tacos too much, you know what I mean? Like, that's my shit. I don't have the drive and the will to go work out for two two years to get ripped, you know what I mean? That's just not me. I can't do it, you know what I mean? So I came up with a fucking solution. This has got to happen. I got to win like 20 grand. And I win $20,000. Look, this is where I'm going with this. I win $20,000, then I don't have to work for like three months, right? And then in those three months, I'm just going to do steroids and get fucking ripped. Why the fuck would I work out for a year or two years to get ripped when I could take a shot in my ass and get ripped in three months? You know what I mean? But like, look, I'm only gonna do it for three months and then I'm gonna stop. That's it, I'm just gonna get ripped and then I'm gonna maintain. But look, this is where I'm going with this. My train of thought when I even think about shit like this is my dick game is strong. That's just the way it is. I got a big dick and that's just how it is. You know what I mean? Like either you do or you don't. You know what I mean? There is no in between. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Either you got one or you don't. The good Lord has taken it upon himself to bless me with a couple of things, and that just happened to be one of them. My brothers got hyped, I got laid. <laughs> so look, this is no, look, this is where this is where it comes down to. Look, I'm thinking about it like this. If I did steroids for a few months, I got enough dick to afford to lose a couple inches and still be respectable. <laughs> That's my train of thought, you know what I mean? But it's never gonna happen. Not even an easy out like doing drugs is gonna give you because you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get drunk after this set and I'm gonna leave here, get high on the way to Jack in the Box and get some fucking tacos. <laughs> so not even steroids are gonna fucking work for me, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't express to you how much I love weed and tacos, you know what I mean? Marijuana itself is what pushed me into doing comedy. Marijuana, you don't have to be physically fit. It's not a physically demanding job to get up here and tell fucking jokes. Tacos are just a fucking bonus. <laughs> people do comedy for different reasons, you know what I mean? Some people want to be rich and famous. Some people want to travel the world. Some people want to fucking have their own TV show. I just want to be able to get high when I want to eat fucking tacos. <laughs> but the main reason I got into comedy was to get some pussy. Plain and simple, you know what I mean? You can ask any girl, it doesn't matter where in the world that this girl is at. If you ask them, what do you look for in a guy? Their top three answers, and one of those fucking answers is gonna be, he has to be funny, he has to have a sense of humor, he has to be able to make me laugh. So comedy is where I'm at. I figured I'm gonna get into comedy and get all kinds of fucking pussy. Let me tell you what I've learned over six years. That shit don't always happen. <laughs> I said, don't always happen. I didn't say it never happens. You know what I mean? Sometimes I get lucky. You know what I mean? Sometimes I get lucky and I get laid. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I get fucking super lucky and I get laid by a girl who has her own weed and loves to fucking cook tacos. <laughs> Not all the time, but when it happens, it's fucking awesome. Like, I love tacos so much. I love beef tacos. Chicken tacos, lady tacos. <laughs> I even love fucking choco tacos. <laughs> I love to get high and fucking eat, man. I don't know what else to say. 
But that's not the only thing I love, you know what I mean? Like, I also have love for other shit, like television. I love television more than any other person should, you know what I mean? I get so into these shows, it's fucking ridiculous. I've been watching Grey's Anatomy for like nine years. And I'm 93% sure that I would let Derek Shepard do brain surgery on me right now. Yeah, you motherfuckers know who McDreamy is, don't you? That's how far I get into these television shows, you know what I mean? Like, I was sitting in my house the other day, stoned, and I'm watching fucking Ancient Aliens. You seen Ancient Aliens? Ancient Aliens is my shit. And I'm just gonna put this out here right now. Aliens are fucking real. They exist. If you don't believe in aliens, I can't even fuck with you, you know what I mean? Because aliens are real. I've seen them with my own fucking two eyes. And I wasn't even stoned. I mean, well, I mean, what's the definition of stone? Like, really, you know what I mean? My definition of stone and your definition of stone could be two completely different shits, you know what I mean? So let's just say I was under the influence of pot. I was fucking smoking pot when I seen this alien shit go down. But even if I wasn't smoking pot, the shit still would've went down because they're fucking real. <laughs> aliens are real. I'm not bullshitting with you right now. Look, I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Aliens are so fucking real. There's so many people in here right now that there's a possibility that fucking aliens are in this room right now. Or at least someone that's from alien descent. This is what I want <laughs> Wait, you're laughing. It's not a fucking joke. I'm gonna prove it to you. It's not a fucking joke. Aliens are real. So I'm gonna prove it to you. Look to the person to your left. Now look to the person to your right. And take a good look at them because I downloaded a fucking alien mating call <laughs> off the internet. And I'm gonna play this shit for you right now. And look, if the person sitting to your left or right starts shaking or fucking moving, that just means that there's a fucking, they're either alien or they're of alien descent. <laughs> it's not a joke, don't laugh. I'm gonna prove it to you. DJ, play that mating call. Australia, it doesn't matter. In the ancient times, the same shit was going on everywhere. They had a drought. There was famine. They couldn't grow crops. Motherfuckers are dying from diseases. You know what I mean? And this is happening all over the world, not just in one spot. And they came up with a solution. The same, everybody in the same, different regions came up with the same fucking solution. They're gonna sacrifice virgins to their gods. Virgins. See, you all don't understand. That's where they fucked up. They sent a virgin up. If they would have sent the village whore, <laughs> shit might have got done faster. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna let you on in a little secret that only real motherfuckers like myself know. It ain't cool to fuck a virgin unless you're also a fucking virgin. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, it's not cool to fuck a virgin unless you're a virgin yourself. Because what are you doing? You know what I mean? If you have sex with a virgin and you're not a virgin, Basically, look, check it out, man. This is where I'm coming from. McDonald's itself requires six months of experience. <laughs> Even fucking McDonald's knows. So if you out here and you claim you've had sex with a virgin and you're not a virgin, look, you're a trainer at McDonald's. <laughs> because really, what are you doing? You know what I mean? A trainer at McDonald's, what do they do? If you're having, look, I've had sex with a virgin. It's not fun at all. You're constantly being a trainer. You're like, don't do that. Don't use your teeth. Use both hands. Have <laughs> meat with care. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, man. All I'm saying is that I need somebody that's worked at like five or six McDonald's. I don't need a new hire. Look, man. 
If they would have sent a fucking whore up there, shit would have been different. That bitch might have been able to suck the water out of them. <laughs> and if you're still not convinced, just, man, think about this right here. What could a virgin do for you that a talented whore couldn't do better? You know what I'm saying? That's it right there. There's not a fucking person in here, and that goes for guys or, or girls, you know what I mean? Like, when a whore does it, they do it right, you know what I mean? Like, there's just no stopping. Take advice from McDonald's, if you ain't got six months of experience, you can't even fucking work there. And that's just the way it goes, you know what I mean? Like, I've been stoned a lot lately. Just a little bit, not a lot. Like I said, we don't know the definition of stoned yet, you know what I mean? We don't know the actual definition. But I'm sitting there, and I'm watching my daughter the other day. And I just realized that I use whore and daughter in the same sentence. Maybe it's because I'm thinking about her mom. Oh. But anyway, look. Oh, yeah. Don't tell her. She's not here, so don't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> She's on Facebook. <laughs> well, this is, this is information for... Professor Xavier, don't text my ex. Don't put it on Facebook. But look, I'm gonna tell you something you might not know about me. I'm a single father. It's me and my daughter full time, you know what I mean? And being a dad full time, it helps me realize and it makes me pay more attention to what the fuck she's doing, you know what I mean? And I was watching her the other day and she's playing with her toys that are far more advanced than the toys that I had when I was a fucking child. I mean, her shit is tight nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, her shit is legit, for real. And like, I started thinking about how my childhood was and her childhood, her adolescence and her teenage years are gonna fucking suck compared to mine. Because back in the day, we didn't have technology, you know what I mean? Like technology is ruining all shit nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, like real talk, you know what I mean? Like, technology is fucking ruining shit. Like my kid will never in her life realize the struggle of a house phone. <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, you know, I used to fucking have a beaver and shit, you know what I mean? But you still needed a house phone. House phones were the shit, you know what I mean? Like, and then caller ID came out, woo! I'm from fucking Casa Grande. You're baller if you had fucking caller ID, you know what I mean? Like, like my whole day would be surrounded about what I was gonna, who I was gonna fucking talk to on the phone later that night. I'd be at school, talk, I'd be at school cupcaking, you know what I mean? I'd be macking with these cupcakes. And I'm, <laughs> and I'd be setting up meetings, you know what I mean? I'd be like, look, check it out. I'm gonna call you at 10.30. I'm only gonna let it ring twice, and then I'm gonna hang up. Cause I know damn well y'all ain't got caller ID. And your dad's too cheap to spend 99 cents to press star six seven. You guys remember star six seven, for real. So look, I'm gonna call you at 10.30, I'm gonna let it ring twice, and then I'm gonna hang up, then call me back. So I would call, I'd let it ring twice, then I'd hang up. And I wouldn't even hang the phone up, I'd hold it and hold the button down. You know what I mean? So that way, like, when it rings, you can just let go and then be on it. Every day, that's what I do. So at 10.30, I'd be, I'd be cupcaking, you know what I mean, to these bros that I meet at school. And my mom, man, my mom was a fucking hater, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> My mom was always a hater, you know what I mean? She was a regulator. Like, she, her joy in life was to fucking ruin my day, you know what I mean? Like, she was just fucking shit up with me all the time. So I'd be on the phone cupcaking, you know what I mean? And having one of these cupcakes, and I'd be like, look, it's 11.30 at night, so, uh, you're gonna let me finger you at school tomorrow, right? And sure enough, every time Sonya gets on the line, that's my mom's name, Sonya. Sonya would be on the line, she'd be like, David Lee! It's fucking 11.30, get out the phone with these little hoes. <laughs> you on my phone, fucking up my game, you know what I mean? I'd be Mr. Get Back because my cupcake's on the phone. I'd be like, you know what? It is 11.30, why the fuck are you on the phone? You got work in the morning, bitch. <laughs> and look, I'm gonna tell you something right now. There's nothing worse in the world than getting your ass beat by your mom while your cupcake's on the phone. <laughs> You know what I mean? I wouldn't even have time to fuck her. I would talk shit to my mom, and before I could even hang up, the door would be kicked open. Poof! I mean, fully off the hinges, she just fucking me up, you know what I mean? Like, you can't come back from that, you know what I mean? You see your cupcake at school the next day, and she's just like, yeah. I heard you crying like a little bitch. 
your mom had that belt fucking you up. Doing the palm, not trying to break her nails. You know what I mean? And my kids, she'll never experience that. You know what I mean? She'll never know the joy of that. You know what I mean? Like. I think when my daughter's old enough to talk on the phone, I'm gonna disconnect all cell phones and get a fucking house phone. <laughs> Just so she knows the struggle. That's a real deal, man. I struggle on the house phone all the time. But look, man, technology is fucking shit up for everybody, you know what I mean? Like, this younger generation of dudes, I watch them, you know what I mean? I got cousins that are 17, 18, 19, you know what I mean? And this younger generation, they don't have any game. <laughs> Like they have no game at all and they don't need to have game because smartphones and technology is taking game out of fucking game. You know what I mean? You know how easy it is to get on a cell phone and text a girl and be like, send me a picture of your titties. Anybody can fucking do that. A four year old that knows how to spell could do it. They might not know what the fuck they're saying, but they're gonna spell it and do it. You know what I mean? So like, it's fucking everything up, you know what I mean? There's no game anymore, you know what I mean? When I was a youngster, I was getting nudes before nudes were being sent on the phone. Yeah. And that's real talk, my game was tight. <laughs> I had all the game. My game was tight like an asshole. <laughs> it was so tight, you couldn't even get in there. I'm gonna tell you how tight, look man, this is how tight my game was. I was getting news before news were fucking popular, but this is how I used to have to get news. I'd have to go to school, find a girl, talk her into agreeing to give me fucking news, and then she would have to go home, get a fucking Polaroid, take a picture. And if she didn't have a Polaroid, she'd have to set up a camera with a fucking timer, pose, and hope she got a good pose. Then she would have to ask her mom for a ride to Walmart or Walgreens the one hour develop and then she would have to hope that there was an asshole behind the counter that was going to turn her into her mom for fucking taking nakies if she got him developed she would go home write a sweet little note on the back put it in an envelope then fucking steal a stamp from her mom and mail that shit off that's how i used to fucking get news that's game let me see what you little young motherfuckers do that now you know what I mean? That shit's not gonna happen because there's no game anymore. But I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna just clown on the younger generation. You know what I mean? It's affecting fucking everybody, even grown ass adults like myself. Adults now, they don't even know how to fucking spell. You type the first three letters and the fucking word pops up. You know what I mean? They don't even know how to spell nowadays. It's fucking terrible, you know what I mean? But I'm super, look man, I'm super addicted to technology as well, man. You know what I mean? Like, there's not a week that goes by. Don't even get me started on Snapchat. <laughs> Like, I take more selfies than a fucking 14-year-old girl. <laughs> it's terrible. I shouldn't even take one selfie. You know what I mean? There's not a week that goes by that I don't send a picture of my dick to someone through Snapchat. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't know if it's like that for everybody, but for me, having a big dick, that's what I do. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't got time for talking. I'm cutting out the middleman. You know what I mean? I'm talking to you for a reason. You know what I mean? So I'm going to cut that reason out. Like, look, my name is David. Here's my dick. Do you want to do it? <laughs> That's just how it is. If you don't believe me, see me after the show and I'll show you a fucking picture. I'm not bullshitting. Like, I'm not lying. I'm keeping it 100 right now. You know what I mean? And it's just crazy though. Snapchat is a crazy thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be walking in the fucking, my favorite store, Walmart. You know what I mean? I'll be walking to Walmart and if I see somebody with a nice ass, I'm gonna stop and Snapchat a fucking picture of it. I don't even have to be in the same aisle as him. I can just be walking along, minding my own business, and see a, a side aisle and ass, and I'll be all. <laughs> Start to look around. <laughs> see my target. I close in. And I'm not a pussy either. My camera's got good megapixels, so I'm not gonna zoom in from a distance like a pussy. I'm gonna get right up on that shit. Take out my phone. And I got a fucking iPhone, man. And I swear to God, the iPhone, like look, man, I'm stoned all the time. So I don't remember to turn off my sound. <laughs> 
And the iPhone, I swear to God, they got the loudest shutter sound you've ever heard. It's like I'm loading a fucking pistol when I take a picture. Shh, shh. But I don't give a shit because I'm stoned. I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit. I'm high. I'm not going to remember tomorrow. So I see a target and I zone in. And I get right up close, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, sometimes I get caught, sometimes I don't. Sometimes the girl knows her ass is so nice that it deserves a picture of its own. Thanks, DT. And then there's other fucking... Uh-oh. I can't see, but I heard one of my Snapchat friends in here talking. Where you at? I'll make you Snapchat famous. I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. Guys in here, don't let your female Snapchat me, because DT's gonna be in the top three. That's just how it's gonna be. But look, man, sometimes I get caught. I'll take a picture of the ass. And she'll turn around, and then I gotta act stupid like... You got service in here? This building has jumped like a service. Like technology, man, is a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like my daughter right now, she can get my iPhone, unlock it, play a game. If she dies, she can restart. If she don't like the game, she can start a new fucking game. She's not even two years old yet. If you gave me an iPhone when I was her age and you said it right here, I would be like a monkey. The first time you introduced it to technology, you'd set my phone on there and I'd be all.
forgot to show the next set of comedians as much love as you showed me, and afterwards we're gonna fucking party hard up and stairs love. So I'm gonna give the mic back to Big Rob right now. You guys take it easy, I'm DT.